And tonight we're going to be doing a cooking made easy with Dr. Pat tonight. Um, and it's going to be really fun. We have a few things we'd like to talk to you about uh, before we get started. And I'll go ahead and let Dr. Pat talk about that. All right, thank you. But before we begin, I have a couple of things to clarify, right? My name is actually Pat with two T's because that is not Pat from Patrick, but it's actually Pat as in Patarapong, Burusnuku. Oh. Sounds Russian, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah. It's actually Thai. Well, there's a meaning, but you know, it's, it's very um, uh, sobbing meaning. <laughs> so we don't want to go there. But um, so it's, it's Pat with two T's. And, and also, you know, yes, I have been with Eastern for almost um, 10 years now. I teach marketing as well as hospitality management in the College of Business. Right? So you may be asking why am I teaching a, a cooking class today, right? Why are you cooking a cooking class today? Well, I have another set of qualifications that not many people know about. Um, I basically grew up in restaurant and my dad was a chef. So I learned all the basic cooking skills from him. Mm -hmm. And um, at one point, I was the co-owner of our family restaurant. Really? In Amarillo, Texas. Yep, yep. With my uh, brother. But you know, after some time, we decided, well, we wanted to part ways mm -hmm. due to our artistic differences, <laughs> right? Um, I wanted to become a teacher, uh -huh. and my brother wants to be a truck driver. Well, it worked out well for, for the both of us. You know, we now live a, a hap much happier life. <laughs> and, um, and here I am, especially today, I get to combine my two passions together, cooking and teaching, Yeah. right? So... Shall we cook some Thai yeah, food, Sam? I'm, I'm excited. Let's All do right. it. I'm really... Okay. So what do we got so going on? We are actually cooking two dishes today okay. with the ingredients that you see in front of me here. And these are easy to find ingredients that you can buy at your local grocery store. And we actually spent just under $15. $14.75 to be exact. Really? For all of this? For all for everything of on? these okay. vegetables and the, and the meat here, right? And um, you'll be able to serve up to three people okay. with these two dishes. Now, these are traditional, you know, typical Thai dishes that I learned to make when I was in uh, college, mm -hmm. right? As a young college student, we don't have much money, do we? Yeah, right? no, we and don't. You, you know what I'm talking about. So. I had to, um, you know, learn to make food for myself because when I miss, you know, food I have at home, yeah. have that cravings, I cannot simply go to mm -hmm. restaurants all the time, mm -hmm. right? So I had to learn to make food for myself. And many times I run into the issue of not having the ingredients or the seasoning mm -hmm. that is traditionally used in the recipe. To make it, yeah. yeah. So I learned to improvise. I had to adapt. Right, and also I have to be creative right. and um, resourceful. Right, mm -hmm. use what is available, mm -hmm. what you know costs the least, and use what I already have. Mm -hmm. So that way, you know, I can save money. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, sir. So, so I, I learned from my college experience too. If you are cre uh, adaptable, creative, and okay. um, resourceful. Resourceful. You guys get that? You can Adaptable, all, creative, and resourceful. Those yep. are some things, we, we, key traits we're working on tonight. Yeah. You can always get your basic needs met. Mm -hmm. You live well and you get to eat well too. Okay. And I think this is going to be really exciting because, I, I, like I said, I'm a college student myself, but I know some of you guys watching may not be. For those of you that are college students, take notes. And if you have questions, feel free to ask us so we can help you along the way. Yeah. And these dishes, you know, can be as fancy as you want them to by switching up the ingredients again you know being creative uh -huh. and use the ingredients that you prefer right the better experience you know, instead of using regular meat you may use seafood or you know better cut of meat uh -huh. right, in in these uh, dishes so they're very versatile you can adapt them to your liking okay okay so so the two uh, dishes that we are going to make the first one is almost like a starter course Right? Mm -hmm. is, is, is like an appetizer. Okay. It is a salad, right? And I call it the yum yum Thai salad. The okay. yum yum Thai salad. Well, of course, you know, when, when you um, um, uh, say yum yum, it means delicious in English. Yum right? yum is delicious. Yep. But the word yum in Thai also refers to this type of salad that mm. is meat based. So there's more meat than vegetables. And it's, it's a common dish that you find everywhere and anywhere in Thailand, mm -hmm. right? You go to restaurants, you go to, um, you know, street vendors, mm -hmm. you know, they have the yum to offer. And they're, 
um, is a wide variety of the yum. Uh -huh. right? They change up the, the ingredients, but how you make it and all the seasonings and the flavors are pretty much the same mm -hmm. for all the yums. Okay. Okay. So now we know yum means yum. this uh, meat salad okay, mm -hmm. that is packed with exciting flavors. Do you like spicy? I do like spicy, I do. This one, you can make it as spicy as you like, Okay. but also it is sour and it is salty and a little bit sweet. Okay. All right. So, like I said, you know, we, um, you can use any type of meat, right, uh, for the salad, but tonight we choose to go with ground pork. Okay. Okay. And if anyone's using a different type, maybe not ground pork, you could turn your mic on and you could let us know. All right. I'm using so any type of ground use, meat okay. uh, would work, right? Ground pork, ground beef, uh, ground turkey even. Oh, I think that turkey would be a right. cool Kind of leaner, you yeah. know, better for you. If you choose uh, ground beef, choose the, the one that is leaner, like 90, 10, or 80, 20, 20% 20 uh -huh. fat or 10% fat. Okay. So that way it's not too greasy. Right, okay. Right? So we have a pound of our uh, ground pork here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for the main vegetables, there are three main vegetables that we will mix in with the co uh, seasoned cooked meat. Okay. Okay. We have the, the onions, we have the carrots, and the cilantro. Those are the basic three um, vegetables that we will add into our salad, right? Okay. Cilantro um, is used extensively in Thai cooking, you know, a variety of, of dishes. We add this herb to mm -hmm. our uh, Thai dishes. It is mild, but still add that you know uh, freshness mm -hmm. and brightness to yeah. to to the dish. Yeah. Okay. But um, today I decided to uh, maybe add some more cucumber mm -hmm. and some tomato just to add volume mm -hmm. and also add another flavor with the tomato. A little texture in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I could totally see that. Yeah. So like I said, this dish is spicy, sour, salty, and a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. Right. To um, make it spicy. Generally, we use the Thai uh, chili pepper, right? And um, it is much uh, smaller than this. This is actually a serrano pepper, right? I uh, found that you know, habanero or serrano can be a good substitute. Mm -hmm. But today at the market, the habanero comes in a big pack, and we don't need that many. We don't need that many. Yeah. Not many people eat that spicy, so uh -huh. we only need one. So I chose to uh, uh, go with the serrano pepper. Okay. Okay. And to make it sour, we use lime. Uh -huh. And these, you know, today in uh, average supermarket, you find lime and lemon mm -hmm. along, you know, each like, other, yeah, alongside yeah. each other. But lime is used traditionally in Thai cooking, okay, not lemon. So we go with the, uh, with the lime, mm -hmm. okay. And, um, or um, I forgot to mention though, again, you know, to be uh, adaptable and resourceful, whatever, you know, type of chili you have, even the dry uh, chili pepper, like the kind that right. you put on top of your uh, pizza mm -hmm. can be used for this salad as well. Okay. Okay. And to make it salty, of course, we have the salt. Right. <laughs> we have it in our pantry. We don't have to go and search for anything else. Mm -hmm. Right. Traditionally, fish sauce is used. Fish sauce is used as fish a salt to make it. Fish sauce is used, exactly. Oh. You have to make the, the, the yum uh, salty. And we right. had no fish sauce here? If you we don't fish have fish sauce, sauce here. And it? as a matter of fact, it's not easy to find uh, fish sauce at the grocery store. And even if you did, it would cost a lot more. Oh, would it? Right. Where would you get it primarily? Like, say somebody went and wanted Asian to buy Asian grocery that. store. If you have access to, to a store, you know, in your neighborhood, mm -hmm. you know, in, in your town, okay. then go check them out. You know, Asian grocery store usually uh, carry fish sauce. Is there a specific fish sauce that you use? Not really. You know, different countries, you know, a lot of countries in Asia, like mm -hmm. Vietnam, Thailand, uh, Cambodia, you know, uh, we all use fish sauce. So they, we have the, our own brand. So mm -hmm. whatever brand you find that's affordable. I see. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can uh, use that if you want to, but to make it convenient salt. and resourceful, we just salt. use salt. I don't find it much different, okay. really. Okay. And of course, a little bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what you see here is an optional seasoning that I want to introduce to you because it's quite unique um, uh, seasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are certain parts in, in Thailand when they make the yum or this uh, a spicy salad, mm -hmm. they also add this roasted rice powder. 
Roasted rice? Roasted rice okay. powder, okay, to add that toasty, you know, uh, kind of um, toasty, roasty aroma and flavor mm -hmm. to, the, to, to the salad. Yeah, it's just so it's like more full mm -hmm. in that case. Well, it's, it's, it's more of a, you know, kind of elevate the yum, right, mm -hmm. to the next right. level. Right, okay, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Elevate your yum. <laughs> yep. The northern uh, part and northeastern part of Thailand, they, when they make their yum, they generally add the um, roasted rice powder. Is this spicy? Is it that? It's not spicy at all. You can actually taste it. It tastes almost like um, uh, ground peanuts or something like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's not at all what I thought it was going to taste like. Mm -hmm. It tastes more. Um, and it's pretty yeah, unique. Peanutty. Yep. You you never had anything like this before. I don't believe. Mm -mm. No. But um, it 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 kind of you know it it adds that um, you know flavor and help to elevate the yum. Yeah. It takes it to the next level. And then you also take, um, um, turn the yum into what we call lab. Lab? L-A-R-B, lab. lab. So lab is, is, is uh, essentially the yum with uh, roasted rice powder added. Mm. Okay? You certainly cannot find this at the grocery store. And even some Asian grocery stores do not carry uh, the roasted rice powder. Oh, okay. So, being resourceful, I found a way to make it at home, you know, rather inexpensively, as long as you have the, um, the, the uh, dry grain rice, mm -hmm. okay? You can roast it yourself in the pan. Okay. And, you know, kind of blend it in the blender, grind it up into the powder, um, mm -hmm. you know, texture like that. Mm -hmm. And then you make yourself, you know, the uh, roasted rice powder. Okay. You can use any kind of, of uh, dry grain rice, uh, white rice, brown rice, doesn't matter really. Okay. okay. So uh, we have some uh, brown grain rice today. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to let you help me make the roasted rice powder okay, while I um, prepare the vegetables. Yes, sir. Because this dish will take no time at all to, to okay. cook. Yes, sir. Once we uh, uh, cook the meat, it's pretty much done. Really. So we want all the vegetables to be cut up and ready to go and to be um, added uh, with the cooked meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to toast the rice, right, we use a medium high heat, right? Medium high heat. Medium high heat or medium heat. Medium heat. Medium heat. Put it at medium. Mm -hmm. All right. And just, you know, add the rice to the, to the dry pan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be sure to kind of kind of grate it so that it's evenly, um, you know, covering the surface of the pan. Mm -hmm. So that way it's evenly toasted, okay? And you really have to keep an eye on this. You don't want to burn this. Right. Okay. And um, Burned rice smells yeah, terrible. Yeah, keep it occasional shake and stir, okay, until, and we toast it until it's golden brown, okay? And the reason I uh, chose uh, or made this to be an optional seasoning because a lot of you may not have a blender at home. So, um, but once you get a hold of a blender, you know, try making some roasted rice powder at home, you know, for your yum, okay? So. Make it larb. And make, to make a larb. You're very good. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Sam. Yep, larb. Actually, you know, Food Network, I, I, um, I saw some uh, on their shows, uh -huh. you know, sometimes they um, um, introduce that dish, you know, into, their, um, oh, do into they? their show. Really? So, yeah, because it's a typical Thai dish. Again, you can find it anywhere, mm -hmm. you know, in, in Thailand. Now. I'm going to uh, cut up the three main vegetables that I talked about, right? The um, onions, um, carrots, and the cilantro. And the way we want to cut, you know, these vegetables is to cut them as thin um, uh, as possible. You know, slice them as thin as possible because we are not going to cook these vegetables. We're simply adding them, to, you know, yes, to, to the cooked meat, mm -hmm. right? And so we want to be sure that they're thin enough so that they mix well with um, the cooked meat and all the seasoning and all the flavors that it has to offer, right? So I slice it um, real thin, this onion, okay? I only use half of a good size um, onions. I think that would be enough for a pound of, of meat, okay? So... <clears throat> I hope some of you are cooking along with me tonight. So at the end of the show, you have dinner ready. And hopefully you invited uh, some friends to your house as well because you will have more than enough food for one. Nice. Right? So um, we um, chop the onions. We put it on the side, right? Have them ready right, to be mixed in, uh, with the meat. Mm -hmm. Now for the, um, uh, for the carrots, 
I'm going to do um, something very similar, you know, slice the carrots into, um, you know, thin, uh, small strips. Or, you know, in culinary term, we call julienne. Julienne? Right? Julienne. Mm. Julienne, right? Julienne. Julienne? It's supposed to be French. I can't speak French. Mm, I mean, <laughs> okay. So how you do it, you first uh, start cutting the carrots, you know, in, um, in a uh, diagonal, right? Okay. And so you can get the, the thin uh, strips of carrots or uh, thin pieces of carrots first, and then we're going to um, uh, slice them even into thinner strips, mm. okay? So about half of the carrots would be enough, okay? Those look really cool. They All look right. like little chips. Don't they, right? And then now that you have these uh, thin pieces, I want to stack them together, and I would slice them real thin. Look at this, oh. right? Yeah. This is julienne. Julienne. Okay, Julianne. We not are Julianne. Julianne in the huh? This is not Julianne? Nope, nope. That's that cut. That's just that thin cut. slices. Okay. This is Julianne, right? All right. So it's, it's pretty, um, um, pretty easy, okay? So, but be careful. Watch, for, uh, watch your fingers while you do this, all right? So how's the rice coming? Do you, it's good. I can, can you start I, smell it? Yeah, I can smell okay. it heating up. All right, yeah. So I'm going to, you know, um, Continue to um, um, mm -hmm. cut this up, all of the ones that I... Um, hey, if anyone out there um, watching right now would like to show us where you're at and making it, um, you're more than welcome to go ahead and, and share your screen with us so we can see yeah. what, what you're doing. Yeah. See if you're, you're cooking it up like this. Or is your julienne looking like julienne, that? Julienne, julienne the carrots. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So we have now the onions and the carrots, okay? Now comes the cilantro. The cilantro, our, I love cilantro. our star herb, you know, for, for our uh, yum, mm -hmm. okay? And we use, you know, a, a good amount of it. We're not going to sprinkle, right? But we mix it in the salad. It mm -hmm. actually gives you, you know, additional, you know, kind of tasty flavor mm -hmm. to the salad. So, and um, I'm not going to uh, chop this uh, too fine, but rather I'm going to cut it you know, into um, about, you know, an inch long oh. pieces like so, okay, yeah. Nice. Yes, and I understand Miss Birdsong is on Zoom and <laughs> cooking along with me. Can you show us what you um, have so far? I am so excited to have you on. Um, Joining our show today, Miss Birdsong. Oh, maybe she's busy cutting, julienne mm. The julienne does get a <laughs> bit technical. <laughs> Dr. Matt, I have a sous chef. Oh. She says she has a sous chef. Ah, <laughs> I see. Okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so. We have cut up all of our um, main vegetables, but I, like, like I said, um, since I have the, the cucumber and the tomato, I'm going to add into my salad too today. Dr. Okay? Pat, I was gonna ask yes, you, um, so say someone doesn't like onions, could we use the cucumber and just completely supplement that for an onion? Definitely, right? Like I said, this, these dishes are you know, flexible. Mm -hmm. right? You can add or subtract anything that you like or don't like. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. No, that makes sense. So if somebody don't like onions, well, use the cucumber, right? Add more carrots, mm. right? Or add more tomato, mm. okay? So, to balance so it's, it. Yep, yeah, it's, it's your mm. choice, really. So I'm going to um, um, use about a quarter of the, um, the cucumber, okay? And I will slice it, you know, as thin as the other vegetables. Okay, how about that for having some experience in restaurants. That's a good, that's a, <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> all right, um, a show off. No, it was clean. No. All right, so, so we have our cucumber also and um, some um, tomato, okay. Half of the tomato I'll use for this, okay. Cut it up the same way, uh, thin slices, mm -hmm. okay. All of this is put on the side, ready to be mixed in with the mm -hmm. meat, okay? If you can show um, what Sam is, is doing now, he's toasting the, uh, the rice 
perfectly. It starts to turn brown. So we'll give it another uh, minute or two, you know, to, um, to get that golden brown color. Mm -hmm. And um, you simply put it in the blender and, and, you know, grind it up until you get you into, get uh, you get to this um, consistency. So where okay, does that roasty feeling come from this? This right here, what we're doing gives it that kind of... Yeah. Like by toasting the mm -hmm. rice, you know, it's like the starch, you know, you toast it, it gets kind of, kind of burnt flavor a little bit. And this is it? Yep. This is mm -hmm. the... That's crazy. Yeah. You have to be careful not to burn it. Otherwise, you know, it, yeah. it will have the uh, bitter taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think that's good enough, Sam. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's, that's the, the color that we want. Okay. okay. And it has been toasted for some time. Mm -hmm. And it starts to popping almost like a popcorn. Yeah. Right? So, so that's when we stop. Okay. okay. And, you know, if we, if we have the blender, we would put it in the blender. Okay. okay? But just so you know, you know how to toast the rice. Okay. Yes, can anybody show me um, the vegetables that you have cut up already? Don't be shy, you should be proud. You are cooking Thai food today. You are cooking Thai food today and you know, maybe your first time, but um, I tell you, I mean, this is almost a foolproof uh, dishes, right? Nice. Yeah, so it's easy to make and, and, and you, and hopefully after, this you will continue to make the yum mm -hmm. and switch up the ingredients you know uh, do more variations of the dish okay and then you can good. send the picture to me you know i will, will um have my uh, email uh, available That's i want it. to see the the, the product the, the final product. product yeah exactly yeah okay so we have the vegetables ready mm -hmm. we're ready to cook the meat okay. okay if you can turn on that um stove there thank you sam Sam okay. medium uh, too high. Too high. Okay. We turn that we uh, will cook the uh, the meat in water. Okay, on high heat. Okay, um, we are not boiling the meat, but we sort of substitute the oil, you know, with the water. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and so that's another perk of this dish, isn't it? You know, it it um, already uh, healthier because there's, there's you know less, less oil. fat. Yeah. yeah. And so. Um, so, uh, if you want to add about a quarter cup of, of water, okay, a quarter cup of water. Okay. Okay. Right, That's good. about a quarter cup, perfect, okay. And we don't, we don't want to use too much water or too little, right? Too little, it may dry up, and too much you know, is, is too saucy because we are not going to drain out the water or the mm -hmm. juice of the meat once we cook it. We, mm -hmm. all, we are going to use that to help us you know, season the meat um, uh, thoroughly, mm -hmm. okay? And, and to help uh, uh, make the salad you know, uh, kind of moist and, and saucy yeah. too, okay? So, all right, do you wanna go ahead and add that in? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how long do you wanna cook this primarily? Like what's your, you just wanna brown it? It takes about five to uh, seven <laughs> minutes to, uh, to cook the meat, okay. you know, uh, like this on high heat, okay? And you, you are doing it exactly correct, right? Uh, you want to start breaking it up. Okay. So that way you don't get uh, big lumps of meat, mm -hmm. okay? And um, if the water starts to dry up, if we didn't put enough water in the beginning, we can add a little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. We just, we want to make sure that after the meat is cooked, then we still have some, you know, uh, some juice, some, mm -hmm. some uh, uh, liquid in there. Okay. How do you know if you don't have enough water? It will tell you. It, will <laughs> sizzling. it shouldn't sizzling. No, it, sizzling. It, it, it shouldn't sizzle. Okay. Right? You know, um, use enough water and then, you know, use kind of break it up like so mm -hmm. and kind of turn it, um, you know, mix it. Okay. And if anyone um, watching with us has any questions, you're more than welcome to ask us. Yeah. And how... You can tell that the meat is cooked mm. is when the meat turn uh, color, right? Okay. From this uh, pinkish, reddish, you know, to to um, uh, cooked meat color, you know, which is kind of you know grayish color, <laughs> right? Um, but it depends on the, the type of meat. Uh -huh. But you know, for pork, you will uh, see it kind of you know get uh, uh, whiter, mm -hmm. right? And you won't see any uh, uh, pinkish color anymore. So get rid of that coloration. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. You start to cook. Yeah, you, you, kind you, of tell you will start um, to see how the meat turn color, and then you uh, continue to kind of uh, mix it. Okay. And all we're using is a, a little stove top, so you, you could probably make this if you had just access to a stove. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. 
Exactly. Nice. Yeah. And um, you can use the, the deep uh, frying pan like this, or if you have a pot, use the pot. It doesn't matter, right? Um, so now the, the meat, once it is cooked, we will season okay. with all, you know, to, uh, 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 to give us all those uh, flavors that I talked about, mm -hmm. okay? And we will add the vegetables last. And that's, that's pretty much it. It's, it's done, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So you st uh, start yeah. to see the, the water is boiling, you know, yeah. cooking the meat nicely, okay? You know, just the, um, the other week, Mm -hmm. I came home and I uh, wanted to make something quick. Right. Right. And so this is my, uh, the yum is the go-to dish for me. The yum right. is a good dish. Yep. I, I had leftover um, a ribeye steak at home uh -huh. in the fridge and I decided to use that for my yum. Oh. So, you know, I, I didn't, I can um, uh, skip over this uh, cooking the meat step mm -hmm. and I just warm up my uh, leftover ribeye uh, uh, steak yeah. and I slice it real thin mm -hmm. and season it the way we will uh, do in a minute mm -hmm. right? and add all these vegetables oh. and then I had myself a fancy yum. I have a... Uh, That's pretty creative. I had a, a yum ribeye which is pretty fancy, right? Yeah, that sounds like Like I said, you yeah. can make this dish as fancy as you want or you make it as affordable as you, mm -hmm. as you like. Right. With what you change, kind of yep. it kind of dictates what you're going for. Exactly. That ambiance. Yep. So this uh, already a few minutes passed, mm -hmm. right? You see the meat it's uh, starts yeah. to, to cook already. Okay. So where was this restaurant called? What what was this restaurant called? The restaurant uh, was called King and I. Mm. King and I in Amarillo. Mm -hmm. Is it still a restaurant today? Nope. We um. <laughs> We decided to um, to end our um, business venture. Right, you became a teacher. <laughs> exactly, and and also I tell you, if if you never worked in a restaurant before, it's not as easy as it seems. Mm -hmm. Right, even though you know it's it's uh, satisfying in terms of you know having you know loyal customers and you make friends with them, yeah. you get to interact with people. It's a fun experience in that sense. Mm -hmm. But the long hours and you know, all the issues that, you know, unexpected issues. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said we, uh, we live a much happier life now. <laughs> and I do not regret that. No, that's fine. But you got some really great skills from it. We could clearly see that yeah, from how you yeah. were cutting your onions. But I tell you, Sam, um, I mean, the, the skills that I had developed, mm -hmm. you know, started when I was in, in college because I oh. had to uh, cook for myself. Uh -huh. And so that, in a way, you know, helped me to develop uh, these skills. And even until today, you know, I cook at home mm -hmm. because, uh, Many times I cannot find the dish that I want to have at you know yeah. our local restaurants. We have very limited numbers, as you know. So so I have to cook the dishes myself, and and not only that, it's it's like a you know a, a proud moment when you uh, create a dish for yourself when you yeah. cook at home, yeah. right? And when you invite friends over, you get to impress them, mm -hmm. right? You get to share your uh, culture with your friends uh -huh. you know, through cooking. So you cook, cook too. Uh, right? I do cook. Yeah, I love when my friends come over. And I make a lot of food, and and I don't, you can't really tell that they're hungry, but they eat all of it, mm -hmm. and that's how you know that you know they they actually like hanging out with you and eating your food. Exactly, and it makes I mean, me feel good. That's like that makes the the, yeah. the cook happy, right? Mm -hmm. When when you see a guest, you know, fish, uh, finish their dishes, so that looks perfect. <laughs> that looks perfect. But what did Ray say? I so. That. <laughs> If, if anyone out there um, on the Zoom right now could show us what their pans look like, maybe we can see the coloration going on and see what you're working on. Yeah. If you can show the color, see, there's no pinkish uh, color mm -hmm. anymore, and it turned color to a kind of grayish, yeah. brownish, you know, everything seems to cook through, okay? And it's almost foolproof, you know, to cook the meat this way. I mean, the chance of burning it is very low, and That's you, good. <laughs> you, you can't really overcook it, right? Because, I mean... The, the meat is, is already ground, so it's not going to be tough. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you cook it uh, um, uh, through, you know, so don't take any chance. So you can overcook it a little bit. That's yeah. fine. But I think that is perfect, Sam. Okay. We can turn off the, the heat now. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. And like I said, this is almost done. This is almost done. Okay. okay. Once we have the cooked meat... What we want to do next is to um, season, mm -hmm. right? Right. But um, my secret, 
is, you know, while the meat is still warm, okay, I want the residual heat to help, you know, take away the, the, the spicy uh, uh, taste of the raw onions. Mm -hmm. So I usually add my onions right away. Okay. Okay, before I add the, the seasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and a lot of a lot of you may not like the spicy, you know, uh, raw uh, taste of the uh, uh -huh. of the uh, onions. Okay. So, we have our onions in, right? We are going to add the lime juice. Okay. Add the lime juice, and for seasoning, this is my trick. I usually do two rounds of seasoning. Mm -hmm. With the first round, I add moderate amount of the seasoning. Right, and give it a taste, okay? And that way you know, you know what you need more of. Uh -huh. and, and when we cook, usually we cook to our taste, right? So, so we can you know, um, you know, add uh, more if we need to, okay? So I'm going to um, use half of the lime, you know, squeeze the, the, this fresh lime juice in, uh -huh. okay? To make it spicy, like I said, we have our um, serrano pepper today, okay? I'm going to, um, which I forgot to do um, earlier, because I was concentrating on roasting the rice with you. Yes. So I'm going to, um, you know, um, kind of make a slit into, mm -hmm. into the, the peppers, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm, and I'm going to finely chop my peppers, okay? Right. I don't need a lot, really, because this can be spicy. Uh -huh. But again, it depends on how uh, spicy you want the, the, the yum to be. Yeah, it right? smells good. It and, smells spicy. And if I kind of, you know, have, give it a little shot. Um, chilies, but okay. have chili oil. Can you use that as a substitute? So, absolutely. You could use chili oil um, when you're cooking the meat, if you want, as a substitute for the water. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have chili, and then this would be a good time to add in some chili powder as well, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you want to ha uh, use the chili powder, you can do that. Right, you can use the chili powder, but um, since we have the fresh um, serrano, we're gonna add um, a little bit in there. Okay, should we just add a, bit. a little bit? Of I the think a little chili? bit, yeah, yeah, just a bit. You eat spicy, do you? I love spicy. You love food. spicy, yeah, okay? I love spicy. Food. Like me, I love spicy. It's my uh, uh, stress releaser. Yeah, so me too. <laughs> going to add, you know, both the fresh uh, chopped um, chili and the dry chili in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, moderate amount to start off with. And then you can um, you know, add you go, okay. more, mm -hmm. you know, as you um, have uh, tasted it. So this okay. is actually sugar, correct? This is uh, this is sugar. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we are going to add about um, half of teaspoon of sugar, right, to start off with. Okay. All right, and for the salt, about a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, since we have the roasted rice powder, we it. are going to add the roasted rice powder, you know, elevated to yeah. a yum, right? Yes. That's the next level of the yum, right? And we are going to add about a, a, a tablespoon, okay, or two uh, teaspoons, all right? Now, give it a good stir, okay, mix it, okay? Can you smell it? Can you yeah. smell the toasty? Yeah, it smells like um, kind of when you peel in chilies. I don't know if you've ever peeled chilies. And there's kind of like that hot smell in uh -huh. the air, which you don't yeah. really know what yeah. it is. Kind of roast Yeah, you kind of get a little bit of that. To it. Yeah. Yes. You know this chili we have here. a question. Uh, I said, did you just add sugar in? I kind of was talking to someone and I missed a step. Was yeah. it salt and then sugar? Or did you just put salt? Um, so what I we, didn't hear that. What we did is we, we used a tablespoon, I believe, of sugar. Um, half a teaspoon. Half, half a, a teaspoon, teaspoon of, of sugar. sugar. Okay. And then what did you add right before the sugar? To start off with, um, I added the uh, chili. And no salt yet, correct? No salt no yet. No salt yeah. yet. Okay. But in any order. But, you know, you just get the seasoning in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the uh, moderate amount to start off with. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we had in here already half of the lime. Uh -huh. Okay. Some uh, chopped uh, fresh serrano or any type of chili. And I thought I saw you add the salt. That I'm was sorry. sugar. We added the sugar. Yeah. We added. No, I oh, yeah, I think too. you did add a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, and teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon too. of salt. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just to recap. Thank half, you. We appreciate half that. Of the, half of the, um, uh, the lime. Okay, half of the lime, a little bit of the fresh chili, and we decided to add some dry chili flake as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Half a teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. Okay, and we also add 
two teaspoon or a tablespoon of roasted rice powder that we have uh, made uh, earlier. Okay, so so we give this a, a good stir. We give this a good stir. Okay, and I'm going to uh, let you be a uh, oh, a taste taster. Absolutely. Okay, to um, let me know You're if we need anything this. else, whether you want it more spicy, you know, more mm. sour, or um, a little bit more salty. I really like that way that roasted brown rice tastes in that. Mm -hmm. It kind of gives it that kick. But you also know that pepper's there because the, the, you can feel it, the warmth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you really get that texture from the, the rice, I think. Right. To me, I think we need more lime. Yeah, you know, I too. like it more uh, sour. So I'm going to add another half of the lime. Cool. And again, this is um, you know, uh, seasoned to your taste. Mm -hmm. Once you taste it the first time, then you can tell you know, what you need more of. And I'm the um, supporter yeah. of the um, chili grower. So I'm going to add more the chili, chili pepper. Okay. We're saying send it. Sam and Pat are saying send yep. it on the chili tonight. Yep. We can add a little bit of uh, more salt if you want to, because I, I, feel, I feel it needs a little bit more salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's it. You know, the second round, that should, um, you know, get really? the flavor to the, the, the taste that, that you uh, like. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we uh, give it a good mix. And then all these uh, delicate vegetables, we are going to fold them in. We are going to fold them in. Have you watched that show, Shit's Creek? No. <laughs> That's the famous line from that show. It's like, you fold them in. Fold them in. Yeah. And then what do you mean fold, fold the ingredient in? Right? Folding in the ingredients, meaning, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mixing the texture, you know, gently. Do by, you, you know, lightly tossing and, and turning the, the ingredients that you add into the mixture. So, and these are delicate vegetables, right? Uh -huh. We don't want to bruise them. Okay, so we lightly toss and turn, you know, the uh, the vegetables. My stomach into, just growled watching you do that. I didn't realize how hungry I really was. Into our uh, mixture. So as you can see, look at the color. It looks good. Right? Is it easy enough to make? Yeah, I, I okay. didn't take us too long at all. Okay, if you want to give me the uh, serving uh, uh, that we have arranged over there. Okay. So when you serve this, right, this can be a, a, a starter course, okay? It can be a starter course, and you serve it with some, um, you know, uh, lettuce or uh, leafy greens or any types of vegetables that you can eat raw. Um, since we have the celery and the carrots, I turn them into uh, vegetable sticks, Nice, right? And so we can serve this, you know, along with uh, those vegetables. Okay, and um, if you want to make this um, into a light entree, you can do that also, right? I mean, look at the amount that we have made here. I mean, that's, you know, tons of food, you mm -hmm. know, for, for one person. That's why I said, you know, each, uh, each dish will serve up to three people, okay? So. That's some good presentation skills right there. You guys yep. see this? So, do we get to see this? Look at this. All right. With love. <laughs> with love. This is with love. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's your yum, or in this case, is the larb. Larb. Because we added the roasted mm -hmm. rice powder, right? That's so um, you can continue to enjoy this, Sam, or you know, you can help me cook the next dish. I will help you okay. cook the next dish. All right. Um, oh, are we um, catching up? Yes, I want to see some of the dishes that you have made at home. Hold on, come over here to the light. Over here to the light. <laughs> look, we have. Yeah. Look, we have we have a fly. It seems to be a. a yeah, he's just hanging you know, out with a popular us. guest at a different show. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Now, so. Um, and this also, you know, like I said, can be a light meal. You know, you serve this. Um, a salad with tons of you know uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. Okay, it can be a light and healthy meal. Mm -hmm. But if you want it to be more substantial, more filling, you can serve it as an entree with a steamed rice. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. right. So, how do you cook steamed rice? I say get a rice cooker. 
really. That's the easiest way rice to cook cooker. the rice, right? You know, and, and now, you know, a rice cooker uh, uh, is very uh, affordable. Mm -hmm. right? You can get it online at Walmart. It's under $20, yeah. right? It might just be the best investment you make for your kitchen appliances, mm -hmm. right? For it's vegan and, quick rice. Yep, if you have the rice cooker and you have the, you know, uh, uh, dry uh, grain yeah, rice, yeah. right? The way to cook your rice in rice cooker is, is to rinse it a couple of times, right? Rinse the, the rice a couple of times and then add the water, mm -hmm. right? How much do you add the water? You don't need a measuring tool. Use your finger. Okay. Right? You would put your finger on, on top of the bed of rice in your pot and the water should come up to about the first knuckle of your index oh, mm -hmm. finger. Okay. Okay. So that's how you measure the amount of water you want to put in the rice cooker before you close the, the lid and press cook. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's how, how we, you know, um, um, Asian people uh, cook our rice nice. and measure the water for, for our rice in the rice cooker. This is really cool. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so would anyone that's out there at home cooking right now, would they like to demonstrate what they got going on? Maybe you're done, maybe you're midway. We kind of want to see what our students are doing at home and, and how you're interacting with this. If you're cooking along with us, we really want to see what that's like. Yeah. So doesn't this look beautiful? Right. I just want to eat it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so this is the, the starter course already. Okay. So our main entree for the night, we have our um, pan fried uh, noodle. We have our pan fried noodle. Okay. <clears throat> And the, um, the ingredients for our uh, pan fry noodle, uh, noodle uh -huh. is as simple as the, um, the yum. Oh, okay. okay. Right. They're easy to find, you know, something um, readily available in your local grocery store, mm -hmm. okay? And especially the noodle that we use today, I believe is a staple in many um, pantries, <laughs> right? The ramen noodle. Oof. Which college student doesn't know ramen noodle? I know yes. what it is. <laughs> right? So let's shout out to uh, ramen noodle. Show us your ramen noodle. Right? Well, I just made pho the other day, so I have Thai noodles. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. We love you right? using, if you have pho or, or other noodles that you previously have made, yeah. Now is an excellent time to whip them out. You can definitely add them to this ingredients. Uh huh. Yeah. So again, you can swap out the ramen noodle for you know a, a rice noodle mm -hmm. or even pasta you know of, of any kind, right? We are going to cook the um, the um, noodle, right? Mm -hmm. um, before we stir fry it with the meat and the vegetables. Okay. okay? So if you use pasta or other kinds of, of uh, noodles, uh, follow the instructions on the on the package. Okay. Right? But this ramen noodle, they're um, instant noodle. So it takes no time to cook at all. Okay. So what we need now is the pot, a bowl noodle. Somebody asked if they can use the bowl uh, noodle. What is the bowl noodle? Like a cup noodle or like? Yeah. I see. Yeah. Something already. Okay. I, I think it's, it's very similar. It's yeah. uh, instant noodle. Mm -hmm. You just have to boil it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. We don't really use the seasoning that comes in, in, in the package. Uh -huh. right? we, uh, we only use the, um, the noodle itself. Okay. okay. So if you want to um, add water to this, Sam. Okay. Is this medium heat? It's on, um, you can cook the, the uh, noodle on high heat. We just need to boil the water while I um, prepare all the, the vegetables. Okay. <clears throat> All the water? Yes. All the water, just to, um, enough to cover your uh, noodle. That's fine, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So for the um, uh, vegetables, for our uh, pan fry, we might need more um, uh, water, right? If you don't mind, kind yeah. of run and get some yeah, water, for, more water for me. All right. Um, so we have um, four vegetables in, uh, for our uh, pan fry noodle. And I choose the vegetables that are rather inexpensive, okay? We have the cabbage, we have the uh, celery, carrots, 
and onions. So as you can see, we already have the common ingredients from the previous dish. We have the carrots and we have the onions, right? And these four vegetables you see here, you know, I have to admit, they're my um, staple vegetables that I always have in my fridge, right? Because they are inexpensive, they last a long time, and I can use these vegetables in, in many different ways, mm -hmm. okay? They cook food, uh, the noodle in the water at the same time? Oh yeah, you can, definitely. You can, you can, um, you can cook um, you know, uh, all the noodles you want to, uh, to use at the same time, but we wait for it to, uh, to boil first, okay, before we add the noodle in there. All right, so um, you know, similar to the previous dish before we um, you know, cook the meat mm -hmm. and the noodle, we want to have all the vegetables ready to go. Okay. okay, so right. first we have the carrots. I mean, this is a big head of, I mean, uh, the cabbage. <laughs> this is a big head of cabbage. I mean, I'm not even going to use um, a quarter of it, maybe, you know, one-fifth or one-sixth of this big head of, of cabbage, you know, for the two packs of noodle. So I'm just going to, you know, uh, use about this much of, of the cabbage, okay? And how I want to cut my vegetable this time, since we are going to cook the vegetables with the meat and the noodle. We don't want to cut them too thin. We want them to be uh, big enough pieces so they you know, withstand the cooking. Mm -hmm. And at the end, they still uh, maintain some crunch to it so it, 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 right. it's not easily overcooked, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going to cut them into like, you know, a, a somewhat a square pieces, like an inch uh, square pieces, like so, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm going to um, add this into my bowl, right, with, uh, f with the rest of the vegetables that we will cut uh, later, okay? And you can just, you know, add them together in, in a bowl, you know, um, um, on the side. Okay. Because when we cook it, we will add everything, you know, into the pan all at once. Absolutely. Okay. So we have our cabbage. How about some onions, right? Onions, about half of the onions. And again, for this, I'm, I want to cut... Um, the onions into uh, bigger pieces, okay? Not as thin as when I um, cut for, for the yum, okay? Be careful with your knife. That is something to um, am concerned about, okay? A lot of, a lot of, of, of you may not be um, uh, cooking all the time, so, mm -hmm. so this is a, a skill that you are learning along with us, right? Mm -hmm. so, so for the um, onions, instead of cutting the onions into real thin slices, I'm going to, to cut it into about half an inch wide, you know, pieces like this, right? Okay, how about that? All right, and we um, add it to our um, bowl of, of the vegetables, okay? And for the carrots, I'm going to use about half of the carrots, okay? I first you know, um, will cut it in half, or in quarters, actually. And then I'll cut it into, you know, uh, thicker pieces like that. Okay. All right. Get out of here. The lie. Okay. All right. So we have our uh, carrots. Do you want more carrots? Do you like carrots? I like carrots. Do you like yeah, carrots? We can, half we can add a little bit more. Again, you know, be very uh, uh, flexible, you mm -hmm. know, to your liking. So we'll add another quarter into the mix. Okay. Yeah, that, I think that's good. All right, that's good. All right. And for um, celery, you know, one big stalk of celery would be enough, I say. Okay, okay one big stalk of, of celery. And I want to cut this in diagonal because I find it fancier. To cut celery, <laughs> you know, in a, at an angle, right? diagonal celery, yeah, uh -huh. like it. you know, half Try inch it. wide uh, pieces, you know, on a diagonal, like so. It does look cool. All right, it looks more prepared, like somebody put more work in yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, that's how we uh, do at the restaurant. So this is the commercial way to do it, oh. I guess. So, <laughs> so I, I learned a few things from from um, working and and you know owning the restaurant. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to add this into the mix as well. Okay. okay. And this water is getting warm over here. Is it getting? Yeah, it's getting a little warm. warm. Okay. We wait for it to boil. Okay. And it will take no time to cook the noodle um, at all. Okay. Okay. 
So while we wait for the water to boil, um, let's look at the, the rest of the ingredients and the seasoning for uh, this pan fry noodle, right? So the main ingredient is our ramen noodle or any type of noodles. And for the protein, uh, today we choose the um, um, chicken, mm -hmm. okay? If you like white meat, you like dark meat, your choice. Mm -hmm. okay? You can use um, you know, beef or pork even, or even turkey. Or okay. leftover ribeye? Could we possibly think you we could supplement? You definitely can. You catching on, right? Nice. Being resourceful, you know, don't 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 waste food, and you turn you know leftover into something new, so make it you know more flavorful. Right. Yeah. Right. So if you have leftover steak, you know, leftover barbecue, sausage, rotisserie chicken, you can use it, you know, in your uh, pan fry noodle. Right. Yeah. Okay? And to add to our protein, and, and like I said, we use a half a pound of, of meat mm -hmm. you know, for this amount of noodle. And um, we have two eggs also. Right. I add eggs into my uh, uh, pan fry noodle. I find it um, uh, very um, hearty. Mm. Okay. It, it kind of adds you know, heartiness to, to, to the dish. Okay. And um, uh, for seasoning, okay, we have this um, soy sauce. Okay, we have soy sauce, and soy sauce is widely available, you know, in the grocery stores yeah. now. You know, oh, yeah, even mainstream. It. So it's, it's not a uh, an ethnic ingredient anymore. Everyone uses soy sauce, right? So, so soy sauce. Okay, I tell you the trick. You know, some of these uh, soy sauce packets I got from, you know, uh, Chinese takeout. Nice. You know? If I don't use them, I keep them. Yeah. You know, so that yeah. I can make pan fried noodle. On, on a uh, later day. Right? Break out those uh, soy sauces that you had in your Exactly. I mean, in the these, are, these are, you know, good stuff. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's nightly packed, you know, you, so you can save it for later use. And we also have our um, uh, black pepper, you know, for uh, seasoning. Okay. Right. And we have a little bit of sugar as well, mm -hmm. right? a little bit of sugar. Um, now, we also will add some fresh garlic that we will chop into our um, a bowl of vegetables. That adds, you know, to the flavor mm -hmm. of the dish also, okay? Now, the water is boiling, you know, so we come over here, we see the uh, water is boiling. We simply, you know, drop in, you know, these uh, noodles, and we're not using the, the, the seasoning. Really, the seasoning for the instant noodle is nothing but salt and some, you know, um, uh, flavoring agents, so, I mean, Instead of, of eating the ramen noodle straight up, you know, boil it and, you know, uh, add the, the seasoning, you cook it this way, it, it becomes more uh, nutritious meal. Mm -hmm. right? You get the protein, you get the fresh vegetables. Right. Right. So, so we kind of give it a, a, a little shake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It would have been um, easier if, if I had prepared a, a, a pot. You know, so the so this will be uh, submerged in in water easier, uh -huh. right? But since we um, um, didn't have that, we we just make do again, being adaptable, right? Mm -hmm. Resource, yeah, yeah whatever you have. I mean, we'll make do. We, this is okay. I mean, it will still cook the noodle just the same. Okay. Yeah. What type of of pan or what type of pot are you using to um, to uh, uh, cook the noodles? I wonder. Yeah. Hopefully you use like a, a, an actual pot, right? So, so it makes uh, boiling the, the noodle easier, okay? And, but you can start to see the, the, the noodle is, is, is um, you know, uh, being broken up now, right? Getting softer, okay? And we don't want to overcook this because why? We will stir fry it again. Right, right. right. It will be double cooked, uh -huh. right? So you don't want to uh, boil it to death when it's, you know, get, Really solid, and soggy, it, yeah. right? So, um, so kind of leave it at al dente. You know that you, you understand that term, al dente. Al dente. Yeah. What does al dente like, mean? Like for pasta or noodles, al dente. there's still a bite to it. It's not overcooked. You, know, you cook it to where you know it's um, uh, cooked mostly, but still there's a bite you yeah. know, uh, to the noodles, yeah. right? That's al dente. All right. Al dente. So. We're learning how to cook, we're learning yeah. new skills, and we're learning vocabulary. You're it's learning all good. vocabulary, it's all good. and you're learning the, uh, the Thai culture at the same time, right? You're learning Thai talk culture. All right, all so I'm going to turn this off now. I think that's perfect. What I'm going to do is to fish that out of the pot, okay? You can drain it if you have the, uh, um, the colander. 
you know, you can drain it. But since I didn't have that ready, and this is live show. We make do and we'll, we be creative. We'll, we'll make do. <laughs> yeah. We adapt. Yeah, we'll make do. Yes. Would eggplant be a good vegetable to add into the stir fry? Oh, okay. So like I said, you know, these four vegetables, I chose them for the for price and for, mm -hmm. um, you know, their um, versatile use. But you can add any types of uh, vegetables that you uh, prefer. Broccoli, zucchini, mushrooms, um, even spinach. Okay? okay. So you can add those vegetables, even cauliflower. Okay, so those vegetables would be uh, great um, in this dish. All right. So, so help me fish it out. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Sam is a great assistant today. You're my sous chef. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. I think that's great. Okay, I'm going to um, um, use the same pan to stir fry. Okay. This pan actually I intended uh, to use for stir fry anyway. So, so we have uh, cooked our noodle, you know, ready to go, you know, to add into our stir fry. So, we will cook first our meat, right? Cook our meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, on high heat, on high heat, okay? And make sure your um, pan is dry. So, when you add the oil, it will not spill. Okay. All right. Now, don't be scared, you know, cooking meat with oil or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, doing a stir fry, okay? Um, just be careful. I know that, you know, it can, you know, spills and, you know, can burn, but um, just be uh, careful. We are going to add about two tablespoons of, uh, of uh, vegetable oil or any type of cooking oil, uh, canola, um, uh, olive oil, if you like. Okay, or even peanut oil. What about right. avocado oil? Could you use avocado you oil? You can use that, you okay. know, as long as it's for cooking, mm -hmm. okay? Because some oil is, is more delicate and it's used for salad and it's not, um, you know, a good uh -huh. for cooking, right. right? So we add about two uh, uh, tablespoon of oil in there, mm -hmm. okay? Wait a few minutes, you know, so the so oil it's yep, uh, is warmed up, all right, before we add our um, meat into the pan, okay? It's a good carrot. It's good carrot. It's a good carrot. Okay, all right. Well, the oil, you know, seems a little bit hot. I'm going to add in my um, chicken or any type of meat that you are using. Again, if you use um, leftover meat, you can skip this step. Okay. Right. Right. Or you can. Or actually, you you don't skip, but you um, kind of expedite this step because the meat is already cooked. You may still, you know, kind of uh, throw see. it in the, the hot oil. Just use a little bit of hot oil and, um, um, you know, uh, kind of warm the meat up, okay? And we are going to cook this chicken um, until it is um, cooked through, okay? I forgot to mention that um, for your meat, you know, uh, make sure that you slice the meat, you know, not too thick. Okay. okay. Right. So that helps to, um, okay. you know, to cook the meat faster. Okay. Because, uh, you know, thick pieces in the center may still be undercooked, right? While, you know, the, uh, the, the thin pieces are already overcooked. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want the uniform pieces, not too thick. Okay. And the reason I didn't show you how to slice the meat is because we don't have a you know, working, you know, sink for me to wash my hand, you know, um, behind me. So I, I went ahead and, and, and cut the meat uh, beforehand. Nice. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. We, um, I understand that there are participants from overseas as well. Can you believe that? I don't know. Can we? We have Let's overseas see. participants. If some of you, of you may share where you're from and wh where you are participating from. Yeah, we would like to see if you could say hello. We say hello to you. Yeah. Mm 
I know definitely there's somebody from, um, from Thailand because I, um, um, I post this um, uh, event on my Facebook uh -huh. and I have some friends in Thailand who, hey, uh, uh, who are interested. Cool, we see you in Thailand. <laughs> Or Thailand's seeing us. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. It's good to know people are out there watching this. Because we wouldn't do it without you guys. And your main support. And we thank you guys. Oh, man. Cooking all this food's really making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you get to eat afterwards, right? Yes. So, um, so we are cooking the chicken. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, for a, a few minutes or until it's, it's, it's done, right? You can um, check and see. So how does one know when the chicken is, is done cooking? Again, the color turn. There's no pinkish or no uh, flesh uh, meat color anymore. Uh -huh. So you kind of you want to check all the pieces and kind of turn you know, uh, them right. you know, accordingly you know, to help them uh, cook through all the pieces to cook through. Okay. So what's your favorite meal out of the two that we're cooking tonight? I have to say it's the yum. The yum? Because I love spicy and it's, um, it, it's that, you know, flavor that always is uh, satisfying for me. You know, sour, spicy, I love yeah, that flavor. all of it kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really want to try to make this at home. Yeah. I don't know if my cuts will be as well as these ones, but I definitely want to give it a try. <laughs> so the ch chicken seems to... Um, um, be cooked already, okay? So, I'm going to now add the two eggs. I'm going to crack the eggs in, okay? Nice! There you go. How about that? All right. And, we just want to, um, you know, uh, break the yolk up mm -hmm. and lightly scramble, okay? We don't want to over uh, scramble the egg. I find that, you know, when you, um, you know, have bigger pieces of egg, it's tastier, okay? It's tastier for, for, the, for the noodle. So we kind of break the yolk up and lightly scramble, okay? Oh, it already smells good. Yeah. Cook the egg until it's not runny anymore. Okay, before we add the vegetables. Okay. All right. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited. All right. Is anyone at home cooking this meal now? Did we have anyone who tried both meals, perhaps? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's me. Nice, good. How's it going for you? Yes. Good, okay. <laughs> Did you taste the yum? I think it was so yummy. It is yummy. Oh. Yes, it was great. <laughs> I am happy to, to, um, to hear that. So yummy. Yeah. And it's, it's not hard to make, was it? No, not It wasn't at all. hard at, at all, right? Once you see how it's, it's done, then, you know, and have hands-on experience cooking along with us, then, you know, you can change up the ingredients next time, right? So to the, the woman who was using the eggplant tonight, is, is she still watching? Are you still on? Yes, I am using How, eggplant. <laughs> yes, how's it going? How's the eggplant? I'm good so far. Yeah? For, yeah. Um, for the pan fry noodle? I think it was for the yeah. yum, or is it for pan fry? Pan fry noodle. Pan fry oh, noodle. perfect, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Eggplant would be good, you know, also, you know, for your noodle. Whatever you like, whatever, um, you know, you prefer. That's, that's, uh, that would work, okay? So now, if you um, um, can see the, um, the egg, right? It kind of dry yeah, up, it's, it's not cut, runny yeah. anymore. This is when I add all the vegetables that we have cut up, okay? Ooh. We'll add all the vegetables there, and we start to uh, season it, okay, with the dry uh, seasoning, right? So we have the salt, I'm going to add, again, you know, do two rounds of seasoning, right? The first round, use moderate amount and then mm -hmm. taste it, and then we we'll, can add some more if we need to, right? I'm going to add about um, one teaspoon of salt, 
okay? I try to limit the use of salt, okay? And just, you know, to, to, to get it, you know, um, uh, tasty enough, but not too salty. I but see. then, you know, again, we will, um, you know, add the soy sauce in a little bit. So, mm. you know, just one teaspoon mm -hmm. of salt to start off with is, is good, okay? It helps the, the soy sauce, you know, to get to that level of saltiness, right? Nice. And then, you know, a, a teaspoon of sugar, you know, I put in there, okay? And some uh, black pepper, about half a teaspoon, okay? Okay. Now, give it a good uh, stir, okay? Mix the vegetables with the... Um, Can you that again? How much ingredients for what? Okay. So we use a tablespoon? Uh, a teaspoon. I started off with a teaspoon of yeah. salt, right? A teaspoon of sugar, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So I give it, you know, a, a little bit of a, a stir here just to mix it with the, the seasoning. Now it's time to add your um, noodle. Okay. Add your noodle in. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Sam. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, here comes the soy sauce. Okay. Once you add your noodle, add the soy sauce on top of the noodle so that it's, you know, it's, it's uh, uh, the coating color. well the noodle. Okay. And I'm going to add about a uh, tablespoon, uh -huh. tablespoon of soy sauce or two teaspoons. Okay. A tablespoon or two teaspoons. And it smells I'm really going good to right now. eyeball it. Okay. Since um, this is. Um, That's a squirt. Yep. Okay. And once you do that, okay, start mixing everything together. Okay, start mixing everything together. Nice. Okay. If you use a shallow pan, it is um, more difficult for you to kind of uh, you know turn all the ingredients. You might want to use like a couple of spatula to help you turn everything. All right. Ooh. So tactics. Use okay. those strategic. Right. My trick for when I um, make my pan fry noodle is to allow the ingredients to have some contact time with the hot uh, surface of the pan, okay? So that it kind of chars the ingredients mm -hmm. a little bit and it kind of gives you that kind of, uh, you know, roasty, um, you know, uh, flavor and, 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 and aroma. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to um, over mix it, okay? Right? Kind of turn it uh, once and then, you know, let it, Sick. you know, have some you know, interactions with the, the hot skillet, yeah. you know, for, for, um, for uh, uh, 30 seconds or 40 seconds or so, mm -hmm. okay, before we start uh, turning uh, the, the mixture again, okay. All right. It smells yeah. great in here, guys. It really does. Yeah. I know I keep saying that, but yeah. it didn't smell like this in here a minute and a half ago. You see the amount of food that we have made so far, right? Yeah. The first dish we got a, you know, a big size serving that would be, you know, um, enough appetizer for three, right? Or even light meals for three. But then, you know, we now, you know, making another dish out of the ingredients that we bought less than $15. And at the end of all of this, we still will have some vegetables and some ingredients left. That's a snack, right? that's a snack. Yeah, we still have, yeah, we still have more celery to snack. You know, mm -hmm. we have the carrots, you know, the um, uh, cabbage, onions, okay. And the cilantro. The cilantro also, mm -hmm. exactly, right? So, so basically, you know, tomorrow morning, you can make yourself, a, you know, a soup. You have the, the vegetable uh, uh, base, for your soup, uh, uh, vegetable stock already, right? You have the celery, you have... <laughs> that fly is not invited, but <laughs> he's, he's snuck in, right? So <laughs> we have the, uh, the celery, we have the carrots, we have the onions. You know, that in French we call the mirepoix. Mirepoix. Right? Mirepoix is the, the, the base vegetables for uh, stock or, you know, for soup, okay? So you cut them up, you cut the celery, the, the onions, the carrots, mm -hmm. up into small cubes, you know, boil it in, um, uh, boil them in the water, okay? What and was that called? Well, mirapur. 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 Okay, mirapur. Yeah. Huh. And then, you know, once the water boils, you know, you add the chicken and season it with salt and pepper, right? Garlic powder if you want, 
okay? And you make yourself a, you know, a, a, a simple uh, chicken soup, oh, wow. okay? And if you have noodle, you can add noodle, pasta, right? So that becomes the homemade um, uh, noodle soup. Looks good. So I'm turning this again, right? Uh -huh. As you can see, the vegetables, you know, soften up already, okay? And we give it, you know, a couple more minutes and it is done. Nice. It is done, okay? So, you know what I was talking about the, um, the, the fresh garlic, uh -huh. but then we forgot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to add the fresh garlic, right? So you can, you know, uh, chop the, uh, the, 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 the fresh garlic, you know, a couple of cloves, you know, and add into your uh, vegetable mixture, right? And when you add to the stir fry, you know, everything will go in there, including the garlic. But um, no harm done. Yeah. We're being adaptable, right? Creative and adaptable. <laughs> adaptable. So even without the, the garlic, it still will taste great. Okay. I can guarantee you that. Nice. You know, I'll let you uh, uh, give it a taste, Sam. If you want to taste and see, you know, if it's salty enough, um, you know, if you want more uh, pepper, Mm. How do you like that? I do. Okay. I think that we should maybe add a little more soy sauce. More soy sauce? Do you yeah. like a little bit I more like soy sauce? I like that soy sauce taste that's going oh, okay. on there. Yeah. All right. So we can do that. We can add a little bit more um, soy sauce. Okay. You can definitely use garlic powder. That's a good point, right? If you have garlic powder, you don't want to use fresh uh, uh, garlic. You definitely can use the garlic use powder. Use those seasonings. Yeah. Let's be adaptable. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. These questions are really cool too. So if you guys have more questions about what we're doing or yeah. even things that are going on, go ahead. This is a good opportunity yeah. to kind of ask yeah. us. What's... If you can notice, this is what I was talking about, the shard, oh, you know, the quality see. of the vegetable, the, the meat, you know, some of the vegetables, you know, kind of get mm -hmm. kind of a uh, toasty um, color. Okay. You know, there's a local place um, here in Portales. There's not many, for those of you who aren't in town or haven't been here yet, Portales doesn't have a great venue for eating out. Um, but there's this one place called Something Different, and it's really good, and this dish tastes kind of similar to something I might get from there. Is that yeah, right? it yeah. does, yeah. That's what it reminds me of. It's got that yeah. similar... But I guess for this, um, you know, entire serving, you know, big serving mm -hmm. of this pan fry noodle, we probably used about $5 worth of ingredients. Dude, all of it? How like, about that? That's crazy. Right? I mean, yeah. it, it got to be about 5 or $6, you uh -huh. know, or I mean, at the most half because the other dish we, uh, we already made, yeah. you know, and that's so half of meals. the ingredients. Yeah. So you get two meals, right? And with some uh, leftover ingredients here. Uh -huh. Okay. If you want to hand me that tong. I think it is ready, okay? Everything is mixed well. The vegetables is cooked. Right, but not overcooked, right? At this point, it's still uh, uh, crunchy, right? And the noodle um, get some contact time with the hot surface, okay? As well as the, uh, the other ingredients. So I'm going to, to uh, serve this, okay? And use tong is easy, you know, to serve the noodle. And this is how you serve a serving of this pan fry noodle, right? So that way you uh, have enough for your friend. two other friends yeah. too. Okay, yeah. Use tongue is easiest in this case, right? Make sure you get all the different kinds of vegetables, some pieces of, of the eggs. Um, I have a question, onions. Dr. Pat. Yes, sir. So say we wanted to make the pan fry spicy. Can we do that? Good point. Can we do that? You can add fresh jalapeno in the you know, uh, mixture of your vegetable, mm -hmm. right? Or you can add the fresh, you know, chopped serrano, you know, Thai chili if you have it, right? You can even use the chili flake, you know, add oh, it yeah, yeah, yeah. right at the end, mm -hmm. okay? For or, that. you know, your friends may not like the, um, the spicy. So you can add that, you know, a dry chili flake, you know, um, on top of your dish to serve, okay? So. <clears throat> Good. Okay. 
Can we see um, the, the finished product? Yeah, does anyone have any of the recipes they'd like to show us? I have to admit, for my first time cooking, it's not that pretty. <laughs> <laughs> the what? She says, for her first time cooking, it's not that pretty. Could you tell us what about it isn't pretty? Um, I have, like, never really cooked ever. Mm -hmm. So, you guys were going really fast, and all this stuff was prepared, and I'm like, that didn't look like my onion. <laughs> Throw it in, you're just kind of going on it. But I love it. As long as the taste, the, the flavor's there, it's okay, right? It's okay, right? Um, I mean... You're not competing with anybody, yeah. really. You know, as long as the taste is there, you know, if all the ingredients cook right, okay. You don't eat, uh, you don't have raw meat. I, th I think that's fine. It's, it's perfect for the first trial, right? Yep. So, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna. <clears throat> so. Let me um, uh, move this out of the way so we can show what we have accomplished uh, today, right? These two um, uh, dishes okay. made with um, simple ingredients that you can acquire from your local grocery store, okay? We spent $14.75 and we cooked two dishes, okay, um, that can be served to Three people, okay? Enough for three people. And you can have a good time while you make it. Exactly. Yeah. Right? You can be proud of it because you have cooked Thai food. Nice. That's, yeah, some good news. that's very um, impressive, uh -huh. okay? I really like it. I think we had a good time. Did you have fun, Dr. Pat? I have fun. I did too. I, I always I love cooking. Yeah. Yep. So, I really thank you for having me, um, you know, for the show today. Yeah. You know, I get to share some of my experience and, and some of my culture. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, we really food. enjoyed it. Um, so real quick, um, does anyone have any questions for us this evening? I'm sorry? I had a quick question. Yeah, what's up? Yes. Um, is this recipe going to be available to anybody who, like, kind of missed the show or anything like that? Um, so you should get a recipe. If you're a student at Eastern, you, you got that in your uh, email from ASAB. We sent in a, a small recipe with the link to the venue tonight. Um, but for those of you who don't, we'll see what we can do for you. Um, and you so our video will be on YouTube. So if you'd like to tune back in, you can kind of see play by play what we've done. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah, Are absolutely. we going to be on YouTube? Yes, we're going to be on YouTube. Oh, my God. So we should be loading that up after um, in the next, maybe I'd give it a couple of days. But we'll try to get that up to you guys as soon as we can. Yeah. When are we going to have another one of these? This was fun. It was fun. I'm glad you guys are giving us that feedback. We really do a lot of what we do is for you guys. It's yeah. for the students. Like, we wouldn't be here doing any of what we want to do if you guys didn't tell us what you'd like to see. Yeah. Definitely would like to do this again. Okay, we'll do even greater meals. We'll do, I think this is a great start because I, I really yeah. want to try this at home. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first thing I'm going to probably make. And I tell you, you know, I have a lot of dishes up my sleeve, you know, this, making them the same way, uh -huh. you know, affordable, Changing. inexpensive, easy to find ingredients, mm -hmm. okay, and easy recipe. Yeah, okay. no, I had a lot of fun. Um, so, guys, regarding um, our next event, our next event's actually going to be October 28th. It's a scary movie night. So if you guys would like to tune into that, I would be checking your student email for uh, current updates on that. Um, we really thank K-E-N-M-U-W, uh, K-E-N-W, uh, for being here and, and letting us use their facility. It's a wonderful place here. It's really nice. It's really, it's a beautiful scene, honestly. But we're more thankful for the crew that helped us use the equipment and put this whole show on. We really appreciate you guys. And, um, we couldn't do anything that we're doing here without the help of Campus Life and ASAB. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate all those students who are working with us and who aren't here right now. I want to give a huge special thanks to Linda Ramos for working with us. And she's actually directing one of our cameras. Um, and Ray Koss for helping us direct from the sound room along with Valencia Owens. We really appreciate all you guys. Um, and if you'd like to follow our social medias, there'll be ASAB, ENMU for Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And we have to thank Ellen, too. Yes. You know, we, um, Ellen is uh, yeah. with K-E-N-W. Right? Without their support, tonight wouldn't be possible. Yeah. We, so we, we thank them. Yeah. And they're, they're actually here on campus. So if you guys haven't seen um, their facility and you want to check it out, 
feel more than welcome to come down to the communication department and come take a tour. It's really, really nice. Um, and the final remarks I have for you guys are thank you for joining us. We really had a good time um, hanging out and being able to approach you guys. But we definitely will take into consideration doing something like this again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for participating tonight. And if you want to take the pictures, Right, and of the yes. food that you have made, you can send it to where again, Ray? Campus.life at enmu.edu. We want to see those yes, pictures. Yes, we do. We want to see what it looks like. All right, everyone, if you can give me a, a big round of applause for Dr. Pat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Pat. Thank you. You're most students, welcome. Have a good night and uh, good luck in class, and we look forward to seeing you guys.